Hey guys, it's Tasha here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new to tell me by clicking on this video. Hello, send you a very warm welcome. I hope you like what you see and you decide to stay. So for today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a speed clean with me. So now we are heading into spring. I just felt like it was time. My house needed a proper freshen up. We needed to get in all those spring clean feels. I feel like when it gets this time of year, the idea of a real big like deep clean, a proper spring freshen up just really excites me actually so i thought why not come and bring it to you guys on youtube i feel like since owning a house i've been so excited to be able to finally film and bring these videos to you guys so i actually do quite enjoy cleaning i find it quite therapeutic it's quite nice just to have days like these where you do properly reset and literally clean everything i feel like over the past few days i've kind of just let jobs sort of build up and i feel like i've got a lot of cleaning to do the house is quite messy so please be aware of that obviously a lot of the time we do clean as we go but as soon as i knew i was filming this video i've just kind of let a few things count off me but that is why we are here today so yeah i thought i could start off by sharing with you some products which i've got for today's clean with me i went to bnm and did a whole like cleaning products top up got lots of like spring sort of cleaning products which is exciting i'm a sucker for when they bring out like seasonal scents and things like that so thought we could do a quick B&M haul and then I thought I'd just pop it on a little like time lapse and sort of do a speed clean with me and then do a voiceover but please do let me know if in the future you would rather me sort of do it like vlog style kind of just like pop the camera up and explain actually in the moment in person what I'm doing and like what areas I'm cleaning etc and just sort of bring you along like that or if you do enjoy this sort of style where I sort of intro it and then we go into the speed clean with a voiceover let me know it's something new for my channel so I'm not too sure what's good and what's not so thought i'd give it a go today and see how we get on but let's quickly give you guys a little b&m haul so i'm currently just sat on the floor in my kitchen i thought where am i going to start this i probably will start by cleaning the kitchen and the products here so i thought we'll just prop the camera up and also a lot of my cleaning products are actually in this cupboard here so easy for me to get to let me just get out the products so i do actually have a whole other cleaning cupboard underneath the sink with loads of products too but these are pretty much all the ones which i picked up from b&m and which are quite springy so as i go i probably will talk you through which products i'm using for what these aren't the only products which i'm going to use to clean the house today but they're just the ones i wanted to show you which i got from b&m which are new so first of all i wanted to get a new washing scent and i've seen loads of people raving on about the lenore in wash scent boosters so i decided to pick up some of these i got the same scent as the lenore softener which is in cherry blossom and rose water this is mm, so good nice like strong scent and the packaging was giving me spring vibes the sound of it was giving me spring vibes cherry blossom i feel like that's exactly what you see in spring and they go together really nicely and they do make your washing smell unreal as you can see I've already opened these given them a go i am going to put a wash on today but yeah i do know these together it's not absolutely unreal and it is true these little things do really boost the smell and give it an extra good smell so needed some more laundry products i also got a new sif cream cleaner i really wanted the like rose pink one of these again to go with the spring theme couldn't find it i feel like there's only limited shops that do that one but this is still really great. I'm going to use this both in the kitchen and the bathroom. I desperately needed a new bleach for the toilets. Again, got a little springified one. This is the Power Fresh Toilet Gel in Floral Fresh. This isn't new, but it's in there and it will be something I use. This is the Damp Duster by Scrub Daddy. So I don't know if you guys have heard of these or not. It is quite a new hype. I feel like everybody's been getting on it love the original like scrub daddies and then they came out with the damp duster you basically put it under water it goes really soft you pick up all the dust with it then you can wash it away reuse it i feel like it picks up dust so well so i will be using that today i of course had to pick up a new zoflora scent and it had to be spring it had to be a spring scent and this one is the limited edition tulip and peach blossom guys i love zoflora and i love when they bring out the seasonal scents Let's just smell this again. Mm. It's so nice and floral, but still really fresh. Oh my god, I feel like I could wear that as perfume. It is so nice. So, 
picked up that, which I'm going to use in the sink and like to wipe down surfaces and things. And then I did also get the multi-purpose disinfectant cleaner as well to go along with it. I thought this was great for bathroom and kitchen again. In the same scent, the Tulip of Peach Blossom. Look, whilst it's limited edition, you need to get your hands on these good scents. And especially for a good spring freshen up, I feel like these are the kind of scents you want in your home. So excited to use these both today. I got a new scrub mummy, which actually is a little chick. Like, how perfect is this for a spring clean? Just so perfect. Dual sided. I think I might use this for the bathroom because I already have one for the kitchen. I feel like it would just be quite good to have one for the kitchen and for the bathroom. If not, it could just be another top up for the kitchen today, but... <laughs> How cute this a chick. I'm obsessed. Picked up some new wipes. These are the antibacterial multi-purpose cleaning wipes in Garden Symphony. Again, very strong vibes, and I feel like these are just essential to have in the cupboard. Got a new little toilet clip-on freshener thing. I feel like I always just need top-ups of these. And again, I've got a little spring sort of scent. This is Peach Sunset. Uh, and then a few other bits. We've just got some sponges in there. I've got a new crease release because that is just always an essential in the house as well. I picked up some of this, which to be fair, I feel like it would be good to try today because I've never tried this before. This is the Vanish Oxy Action Carpet Care. So you just literally put the powder down and then you vacuum it up. It's meant to just really freshen up the carpets and make it smell nice. And this also is in the scent spring flower. So this is what I mean. This haul is literally perfect for a real good spring clean. And then I also just have some stain remover for the washing machine, which is good to have. So yeah, I'm gonna collect all my products together and let's get this speed clean on the go. So the first job I like to do on a cleaning day is put a wash load on. I feel like this is a good way to start the day because if you've got a few wash loads you want to do throughout the day, it gives you enough time to put them on, hang them out and get them out to dry. Luckily today it was only one wash load that I needed to do so I gathered together all the darks as I was doing a dark wash and headed to the washing machine definitely recommend picking up some of these Lenore scent boosters they just made the washing smell so unreal and I love this cherry blossom scent so much you definitely need to get it for your spring washing Once I'd put the washing on, it was time to tackle the first room of the house, which I decided to start with the kitchen. I feel like this is the room which usually takes the longest, just has the most jobs to do, and probably is the biggest room that I have to clean in the house. So I started by putting away the washing up from last night. We do have a dishwasher, but sometimes we don't fill it for just two of us. So sometimes we just decide to wash up the plates, etc which is what I then started to do after putting away the last lot. I filled up the washing up bowl with more hot water and fairy liquid, ready to clean up some more bowls and cups from the evening before and also from breakfast. Once I finished the washing up, it was time to wipe down all the surfaces. I haven't cleaned the surfaces properly where I've literally removed all the items from the sides and wiped it down like that in ages. I feel like when you're just cleaning on the go, you tend to wipe around things. So for today's deep clean, it was time to remove everything and give it a proper wipe down. So I got my new Zoflora spray in the scent Tulip and Peach Blossom, which is such a good scent. Again, another limited edition one. So definitely go and grab your hands on it ready for your spring clean. 
it just made the whole kitchen smell so lovely. Next, I cleaned the hob with the Sif cream cleaner. I feel like this is really good when you're doing a deep clean just to get rid of any sort of stubborn stains that have been left on the hob after cleaning it on the daily. Usually I would just use a bit of spray on this, but when I'm doing a deep clean, I feel like the Sif cream cleaner along with the scrub mummy works really, really well. Then of course, also not forgetting to clean the splash pack. I just used the Soflora spray for this. I then went back to the hob and just dried it down with a cloth and also then buffed it with a microfiber cloth, the same with the splashback. I then finished off wiping down the other sides and also all the other appliances. This is my time to just quickly interlude and give you guys the little bit of cleaning motivation which you might need today to do your spring clean whether it is just doing a little bit of a clean or whether you do want to do a full house deep clean like i'm doing today this is your sign you're going to feel so much better afterwards i feel like there's no better feeling than having a fresh clean house everything smells really really lovely and you just feel so productive and so good for it so go and get yourself a nice hot cup of tea or coffee or or any beverage of choice put me on the tv and we can clean it together you've got this get cleaning again today is for fully removing everything from all surfaces and really giving everything a good clean i feel like again daily i just wipe down little areas of the table and haven't fully removed everything from the table since i've probably got it and done an actual clean of it so this was very much needed again today just removed all the items and used my soflora spray and also the wipes to just give it a good clean down Something which I feel like is easy to forget to clean in the kitchen is the kitchen bin. So don't forget that bin. I usually just grab a disinfectant wipe and give it a good wipe down. Most of the time when I do the washing up, I usually do just leave it to air dry and put it away later that day. But because I wanted to give the sink a good deep clean, I just thought I would dry up the washing up and pop it all away now. At this point the washing was done so I gathered it all together and went and hung it out on the air At the moment I still just don't trust the UK weather, I feel like it's been really hit and miss at the moment. It could be sunny in the morning then tipping it down by the afternoon so not quite managed to put it outside just yet but I am very much looking forward to the spring days where I can put the washing actually outside. Also just to mention I did grab a cloth just to wipe the inside of the door and just the inside of the washing machine just to kind of stop that dampness and the musty kind of smell, stop it from creating any kind of mould. I just feel like it's really good to give the door a wipe down and also just leave it open for a while to just dry before you close it all in and it just prevents any horrible smells. Once all the washing was hung out it was time to do that deep clean of the sinks. Again I'm using the Sif cream cleaner and my scrub mummy and just really scrubbing all around the inside bowl of the sink and also the draining board. Not forgetting to actually properly clean the plug hole as well. I feel like this is a part which can get really dirty, so it's good to actually give that a proper scrub. I also like to use a little brush on any more stubborn stained parts and also around the tap and around the edges of the sink. I feel like you just need a little bit of a smaller brush to get in those areas. Don't forget to also give your washing up bowl a clean too. This is something which can obviously get a little bit dirty as well. So it's something which you do need to remember to clean as well. After this, I then took a cloth just to wipe down and dry the sink and then a microfiber cloth just to buff it in and shine over the stainless steel areas.
whilst I wait for the kettle to boil for the zoflora, I just wipe down the sides where I make the tea and coffee. This is just an extra bit of worktop which I have, which also needs a good clean. And I also decided to clean the washing machine a little bit. So I've been meaning to clean the inside tray of the washing machine for a very long time. I feel like there must be an easy way to do this, but I could not work out how to get the tray out. So I just used one of my brushes and also a wipe to clean the tray, which it definitely needed doing so i'm glad i did this i feel like this is just one of those jobs which you kind of need to keep on top of monthly i also just gave the washing machine a wipe over with a wipe which again was just needed because it was just a little bit dusty and dirty on to my favorite part, filling the sink with Zoflora. So this is one of my favorite cleaning hacks. All you need to do is fill your kettle up, let it boil, add that to your sink, and then add two capfuls of your favorite Zoflora scent. I would definitely recommend this tulip and peach blossom scent though. It is just all the spring vibes. It smells so unreal. Otherwise, I do love the raspberry and juniper scent. That is also really, really lovely. Once you add these to the sink, it just makes the whole house smell absolutely amazing. You can also do this to your sink upstairs just to properly fill the house with such a gorgeous scent. Also, once you've left it for a while just to cool down, you can then use the water in the sink to wipe over surfaces. So I usually like to get a minky cloth and I wipe over the kitchen cupboards. You can also use the water with a cloth to wipe down your sofa, your front door, things like the kettle. This just obviously helps leave such a lovely scent in the house. This is one of those jobs which, again, I don't do all of the time, but when I am doing a deep clean, it's one that I like to add to the to-do list. I feel like it is good to remember to wipe them over quite regularly just to stop any dust building up and just stop them looking grubby. So this is your reminder to also wipe down your kitchen cabinets. And I feel like there's a flora hack way of doing it just really freshens it up so nicely. The last job on the to-do list for the kitchen is to clean the kitchen floor. So I start off by giving it a hoover using the small attachment just to get right up close to the skirting of the cabinets as I feel like this is where crumbs can easily build up and can be missed by the bigger attachment of the hoover. So I always start off with this and then go on for the bigger attachment for an all-round hoover and then finishing off with the mop which I use the method cleaner. to give the oxy action carpet care cleaner a go so this was the first time using this i just sprinkled it down in the hallway and also up the stairs and at the top of the stairs as well and then as it says on the packet just hoovered it up i did feel like this did give it an extra freshen up almost just gave sort of a new life to the carpets made them kind of just look a little bit extra brighter smell really nice as well so i do think i will add this now into my cleaning routine Luckily there aren't too many areas to clean in the lounge, it's more just sort of giving it a sort out, putting things away, tidying up the sofas, plumping them up a bit again. I have recently given the sofa a good clean, so I hoovered underneath the sofa, removed all of the cushions and gave that a good clean. It's surprising how many crumbs and dust can get underneath that sofa, so it's definitely a good job to remove all them cushions and definitely hoover under there as well. Like I said, give it a wipe down with the Zoflora. But for me today, it was more just plumping up the cushions, sorting out the froze, putting things away and giving it all a good dust over and a wipe down. So now it's on to cleaning the upstairs and I start with the bathroom, which is one of the rooms in the house, which does take a little bit longer, not as long as the kitchen, but there are more jobs which you do need to do in the bathroom. So I started off by cleaning the sink with the Sif cream cleaner and a sponge. I used my new scrub mummy, which is of course this really cute little chick. 
perfect for Easter and perfect for a spring clean. I actually could not wait to use this. Scrubbed all of that down, not forgetting to also actually scrub the drawers and around the sink rather than just the bowl of the sink. It always needs doing as well. For the bath, I also use the same Sif cream cleaner and the sponge. I feel like doing the bath is kind of awkward trying to like fully lean in, but then almost is a little bit easier because you do have the shower head to give it a good rinse over. Back to the sink, I let the Sif cream cleaner just kind of sit in for a little while whilst I cleaned the bath. I go back to it and rinse the sponge out and use the softer side just to wipe away all the soapiness and then I use a cloth to dry it down. I then use the Vicol Lime Scale Remover Spray for the stainless steel parts. This actually works so well. I don't know about anyone else, but I just find cleaning stainless steel in the bathroom such a tedious job because it just feels like as soon as you clean it, a little bit of water on it and it looks dirty again. This does keep it looking fresh and clean for a little while, but I just feel like stainless steel is just so annoying if you do have hard water, which we do in our areas. It's just a never ending job to be honest, but this spray does work really well if you do want to get rid of those lime scale marks. I use this with a cloth and then buff it over with an e-cloth, which does really nicely shine up the stainless steel parts of the bathroom. You would have also just seen that I cleaned out the toothbrush pot with a wipe. That is something which again can easily build up dirt so it's good to clean that over with a wipe. I then also use the same e-cloth that I did for the stainless steel parts for the mirror which really nicely shines up the mirror too. On to the dreaded part of cleaning the toilet so get me them rubber gloves on and I usually just clean over the toilet with a wipe. I don't really like the idea of using a cloth, it just feels quite dirty to use a cloth around the toilet, I don't know. Let me know if you have any other ways you like to clean the toilet. So for me at the moment I just use a couple of different disinfectant wipes. Then I put the toilet gel around the toilet. I let this sit for about half an hour before scrubbing it with the brush. Whilst I let it sit, I am just cleaning the top of the windowsill where I have a few products. Just give it a wipe down with some of the Zoflora spray and the cloth. Brush, brush, brush that toilet and then give it a flush. Don't know if this is a hack, but I then like to sit the toilet brush just underneath the seat to let it dry before putting it away. I feel like this is quite a good hack if you didn't know to do this. I feel like it's just a good way to let the toilet brush dry. So the final part again is to clean the floor. So luckily we do have these floors which you can just go over with the hoover, hoover it up and then again I use the mop just to properly clean the floor. There wasn't really much other cleaning I needed to do upstairs in the other rooms other than hoovering the whole of the upstairs which I did here and then dusting things down. I feel like dust just seems to gather so quickly and everywhere so I feel like this is just one of those jobs which I always add to the to-do list. Wiping it down with a wipe or my damp duster which I love, it works so well and then giving things a wipe over with the microfiber cloth so I did the desks, the bedside tables and our pendant lights. Something I am guilty of is letting my dressing room get a little bit messy. For some reason, whenever I seem to do my makeup, I always just leave it out on the desk. I don't know why I just end up not putting it away at the time. So it always ends up being one of those jobs that builds up and I have to do quite regularly. So I did just put all my products away, give the makeup desk a wipe down because again, it can easily get dirty with makeup and then just put away a few clothes. This was the end of my cleaning day. It was so nice to sit down with a big cup of tea and sit in my lovely clean house with everything smelling so lovely. It's definitely so worth it at the end of the day when you have a really nice clean and tidy house. I feel like it's tidy house, tidy mind. I always just feel so great afterwards and usually always reward myself with a nice bubble bath. But hope this did give you guys some motivation to get your clean on. Now we are heading into spring 
spring i feel like the house is so much needed of a nice spring clean a good freshen up treat yourself to some new flowers as well maybe some new spring decor to reward yourself but yeah i hope we were able to clean together i hope this was helpful or if not i hope you just did enjoy watching i know i find these videos quite satisfying to watch so i hope that was the case thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you guys soon with a brand new video